good morning from London, England. We're currently walking over to the Hammersmith station because we got on Airbnb experiences again and we booked a former London police officer and member of the Royal Guard. He's gonna take us all around the main sites here and show us what needs to be seen and he agreed to let us film it. We figured rather than give you guys a bunch of information on a place we've never been, we figured we'd just rely on a professional this time. Just a quick request while we're waiting on the next train to come. We just hit 750 subscribers, which is incredible for only being gone like 70 something days. Thank you. So, so thank you very much. We're trying to get to a thousand and about 90% of our viewership is not yet subscribed, which is totally okay. You're, it's a feeling out period. We're in the dating process, totally get it, it's cool. But if you would, if you like what you're seeing and want to see more and you want to help us out, then go ahead and subscribe, like the video. And if you want to turn in on the bell notification so that you get a notification every time we upload, go ahead and hit that button as well. Uh, thank you so much for your support thank thus far. You. And uh, back to London. It's currently 9.56. We're a little bit early, but rather be early than late when you're dealing with public transit in a city that you've never been to. So we're waiting on David, we're going to take some selfies and then start this thing up. Let's regenerate this whole area and call it Trafalgar Square. What's that? It's not an offence to jaywalk, so as I said, if you <laughs> get, hit, get hit by a guy, it's your fault. This is where we're going to, the guard change is going to take place through the other side, we will get a time. It's important to know context is everything. This building used to be the headquarters of the British Army. The soldiers, the horses you see there, they are normal members of the British Army in their traditional uniform, guarding the old military headquarters and the old entrance of the house. They're not actually guarding anything. It's just pure 100% tradition. So these are the old guard, and then you've got the new guard coming along, and they're going to take over from the, the new guard. Mal, M-A-L-L, -L, not how you <laughs> pronounce You can't do any shopping down here. Um, <laughs> this is the road that they then built, and then the old entrance to St. James' Palace of Buckingham Palace wasn't needed. Because before this road existed, you came through that gate, came through the parade ground, up this then they built this road, and that was optional. When one of our royals are moving around, or even the Prime Minister, if they're going somewhere official, they have motorcycle outriders who just go up ahead and block the junctions. So it's like permanent, having permanent green lights. Right, when King George III, Mad King, the one that lost the American, when he lived here, he had lots of mistresses, but he also had his queen, which was inconvenient. <laughs> so what, what George III did, he purchased Buckingham House, and he made the queen live there, and he carried on living here. He's the king, remember? Yeah. Obviously, we're going to link the tour down below so that you can take this Airbnb experience if you're ever in London. Um, and we're not done yet, but it's been so cool. It's just been incredible. See the yellow colored building? That's the original Buckingham House. Queen Victoria moves in, as I said, not enough rooms, builds an extension, which is that bit, sticks on the front. We have to blame the IRA from the 80s, right? You know? 500 years ago, this is all used to be where Henry VIII used to go hunting. 1600s, our then queen was Elizabeth I, she died, he didn't have any kids. And the next in line was already the King of Scotland, James VI, he becomes James I of England. Over the next few decades, he landscaped this part, the hunting ground, built this lake and stocked it full of, full of birds. And more importantly, he opened it to the public. What do you think of so far? This has been so fun. I feel like it's just like the food tour. I feel like I'm actually learning something rather than just yeah. walking around being like, oh, this is cool. He's given us so much detail about everything. It's a very unique set of information that he has from working in his previous jobs that he's had. And so. you can and you can get tours through London all over Everywhere. the place, but you can't get it from a member of the Royal but Guard. He has a piece of their wedding. He had a yeah, a piece of their wedding. It's just so cool. He has so much knowledge about this place that we just wouldn't have gotten with any other tours. And the weather's perfect too. We got so lucky with weather. That the tall building, what you know as Big Ben, is actually Elizabeth Tower. That's its real name. Big Ben is the name of the bell that's at the very top. You can hit the jackpot of British stereotypes. You got the the, the telephone. 
box, the red bus, Big Ben. <laughs> All you need is like a British policeman to walk by with a pointy hat. Video and photo of Winston Churchill was at the top of that balcony big cigar declaring the war was over. So tens of thousands of people were all in the streets and he was up there with his cigar saying, you know, victory in Europe. Good group, we've way, way gone over time, but I know I go over time because I've enjoyed myself as well. Yeah, forget. That was the last stop on our official tour. I think we're gonna get food first and We'll see what else we want to we'll do. We'll see what else area. we do after that. All right, we're back. We're right next to Westminster Abbey. So I've looked to see if we could get tickets, and unfortunately, it's all blocked. Maybe it's like a show up to the door and buy your tickets there type deal. We're not going to be able to go in. I'm not sure if you can tell from the footage that I've gotten so far but there are guards outside making sure no one goes anywhere near Westminster Abbey. We asked the guards and they are special guests. Unfortunately, we're not those special guests, so we're just gonna have to come back down the road. So now we're making our way over to the London Eye. Everyone that we've talked to here has said that we need to see London from above. So we figured whether it be the Shard, the London Eye, the Sky Garden, whichever, the top of the O2, we're gonna try it now and go on the London Eye and do probably the most touristy thing here. <laughs> I feel like the biggest thing that this video should let you know is London is huge. We've been here for a, about a week and we haven't been able to do everything because now, it really is just so big. We're definitely gonna have to come back to London and experience more of it because there's so much to do and that's just inside the city. I think it's just starting to hit me how high it is. <laughs> so, yeah. We're really high up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sign off here on the London Eye. Enjoy the sights, and I'm looking forward to getting to ground level. <laughs> See ya. So now we're waiting on our, sorry, I keep ruining our selfie. <laughs> Quick request, so we just hit 750,000 subscribers last night, which is- Thousand? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is not right. And now we're gonna get some coffee because I need some coffee. What'd you say? That was chaotic. We're going to Leicester Square now. We're trying to figure we out- We are not going to Leicester Square. No, we are. No, we're not. We're going to Trafalgar Square or Trafalgar Square. No. We're actually going to Nelson's Column. You know, growing up, I always thought the queen lived in Big Ben. I don't know why. I always thought that was the queen's house. You could you could understand why a kid would think that. So Hannah in Japanese means flower. Oh. Japanese flower restaurant. Here we go. 